So we're going to have a look at three different ways that we can import samples into BeatMaker 2. And uh, the first way is uh, probably the easiest. It's going to be importing through the iPod. So what we want to do is select your iPod, have a look at what tracks you want to um, sample. So let's say we pick this top one. So we jump back into BeatMaker 2. Click on this icon, uh, click on the iPod import, find the track, which is up here, and then pick a folder to save it into, and yeah, just save and give it a name, and it's just going to decode it from the library, which is really good, and if you're on an iPad too, this is how quick it goes, so that's it, it's done. Jump back into your drum pad. Um, Go into Chop Lab, open sample, pick the sample, load it, <clears throat> and then just chop it however you want, auto chop, whatever. And yeah, so that's pretty much the first way. All right, so this is the second way we're going to import files or samples into BeatMaker, and it's going to be using Dropbox. So what you have to do is firstly have a Dropbox um, account, which you can just set up easily on uh, dropbox.com it's free and um, once you do that um, come back and look for your sample in iTunes and BeatMaker 2 only accepts AIFF files and WAV files so let's say you want to grab a sample from iTunes which is uh, might be an mp3 like this um, what you can do is uh, change that to a WAV file by going into iTunes preferences, um, import settings, and then change this importing import using to WAV. All right, so I already got that, and then so what I'm going to do is double uh, right click on this file and then create WAV version, and that's going to show up and recently added somewhere. Let's see. Here it is. So just to double check, let's check the info. There we go. Wave file, 31 megabytes. So what we want to do is uh, drag this file into your Dropbox folder, which on the Mac it shows up here um, in your sidebar. So I've got a samples folder, which I've um, dropped a couple of samples into already. So I'm just going to drop it into there. And you just gotta let it finish uploading, so it's copied into the folder. And um, yeah, once it finishes uploading, it's gonna have that green tick on it, which means it's on the Dropbox, and um, you can grab it through your BeatMaker too. So we're gonna give it a while to finish uploading. So the sample's finished uploading. You can see there's a tick, green tick. So what we're gonna do is jump back into the iPad. <clears throat> and look for the sample and Dropbox. So we open up um, open up this icon, um, go to Dropbox and so my Dropbox is just my account's already signed in and you can see here that it has all those folders just drop in the samples and there it is there the Tingly sample. So highlight the sample, click the button to drag it over, push it over, and there we go. It's just gonna take a bit of time to transfer. And that's done. So that's here now at the top. So we close that off and we come back out. You go into your drum machine, go into the chop lab, open sample. And there it is. So, sweet, you can open it up, chop it up, and you're good to go. Alright, so this is the third way we're going to transfer files and samples into MeatMaker 2. And we're going to be using uh, FileZilla. And um, this is the way that I prefer to transfer um, drum kits and um, small WAV files because you can transfer a whole lot of files in one go. And uh, yeah, it just goes straight into BeatMaker. So what we're gonna do is um, open up, uh, oh well, jump into BeatMaker 2, 
um, click on the sharing icon, click on the file transfer icon, and that'll give you the information to load into your FTP client. Um, I'm using FileZilla, and uh, it's not the best, um, the best software to use. There's other better ones, but this is the first one I downloaded, and it just works good enough for me. So you got to enter the info into here that you find. So um, on that file transfer icon, so it's the IP is ten one one dot four. Username and tour, password and tour, port 3131, and then click connect, and that should connect my um, yeah my hard drive with in my lap my iPad and uh, BeatMaker 2. So here we have my BeatMaker 2 files, and this is my hard drive file, and you see here there's the Tenderly file that we just transferred before. So what we're going to do is um have a look at what um, folder we want to transfer. So let's say um, I want to transfer this kit um, with these samples in it. Just going to organize it by waves. Just remembering that um, BeamMaker 2 only accepts waves and AIF F files. So what we want to do is create a directory in this folder, which is the BM2 folder. Give it a name, so I'll just name this Recon Samples. Okay. Find the folder, double click to go into it. Highlight all the samples that you want to transfer over. Uh, and drag it across. And it'll just show up. So now it's transferring all those files over. And so this is going kind of slow, like one at a time. Before it'll just go, each each sample will just come up about three per second. But um, I don't know. I guess it just fluctuates in speed each time you do it. So the final file that I highlighted here was rim. So we have rim. So I'm guessing that all the files have transferred. You could double check by counting all the individual files you highlighted and. Counting all the individual files that have transferred, but I'm guessing that that's done. So that's sorted, and that's pretty much it. You can just carry on and transfer a whole bunch of your other samples and then put it into here. So that's the way I transfer um, kits. So we're going to jump back into BeamMaker 2 and have a look at where the files have turned up to. And um, it's updating the database. Um, so we'll just jump into the drum pad, go into individual files, load up sample, oops, Let's load up sample, and we should find the recon, here it is, recon samples, and there's all the files that we just transferred, so yep, now we can load them all up, and you sort it, that's it.